What's up, family? Jared the Boss Man here. You're tuned into the Boss Man Show on AM 1010, AM 1430, 1055 The King. Get the King out at 105theking.com and the Boss Man Show at bossmanshow.com. Hit me up on Instagram, the Boss Man Show, Twitter at Boss Man Show, and Facebook, Boss Man Show. It's the Boss Man on your radio. Listen to the Boss Man Show with your host, JR, Saturdays at 9 a.m. right here on AM 1010, The King. What's up, good people? Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. The latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wages, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use your promo code BLEAV, B-L-E-A-V, for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online when the game starts. BS3 Network, changing the way you watch TV. Yes, BS3 Network, changing the way you watch TV. Covering content and hot topics from A to Z. Sports, music, society and culture, movie reviews. You name it, we have it. Check it out on bs3network.com or check us out on Roku, BS3 TV on Roku. As well as check out your favorite podcast on all podcast platforms or Spreaker.com backslash BS3 Network. You are now tuned to BS3 Network. Back at episode 11 of Sean Walker show for you today, talking about two wins uh, coming off Albany State and Benedict and Afghanistan Valley. Got a big game tomorrow at Fairfield and Miles College there. Fred Watson, those guys do a great job over there at SIAC West. We're here with Coach Sean. Now, Sean, my brother, how you doing over there in Columbia, my guy? Well, I'm doing pretty good. Can, excuse me, but I lost my voice, but doing pretty good. Um. You know, had a, had, a, had a pretty good weekend, so uh, just getting ready to get back in the saddle and try to get refocused. I know that's right now, Sean. I know we, I know we, last time we left off, we played uh, Albany State there, man. So let's, let's start there, man. I know you won that game, but things in that game, you really didn't, I know you really didn't like about that game. for was uh, giving up 28 free throws to your six and all the fouling that was going on and just knowing that they got missed free throws could have been a different result, unfortunately. Yeah, Albany, you know, that's our first trip down in down down in Albany and in, in, in the Fort Valley area. And um we're very, very, very knowledgeable that it was gonna be an extremely tough game. Uh excuse me, Albany had lost at night nine games, you know, nine they were in a nine game losing streak. And uh, uh we had a difficult time stopping them. Of course, they have a couple of great players. Uh their point guard, Hodier, I think that's how you pronounce his last name, really caused us a lot of problems. And uh we fouled excessively. I didn't even realize the free throw margin was to, to that extent. Um, so that means it wasn't like that, they, that we didn't foul. Uh, uh, but we were very fortunate to, to to win a tough road game. It's difficult to win on the road uh, in this league. Um, that was a game that we really needed to win to stay off the bottom of the of our side of the league. And uh, fortunately, enough, we were able to do it. No doubt. That was their senior day, too, a crazy crowd. So you guys per- persevered through all that, knowing that was a senior day for them and all that kind of good stuff. But also in that game, you got rebound them by 14, 38 to 24. So I know you are big on rebounding the basketball. I know it's something you talked about this year on the show. But going that winning that game, 14 rebound advantage, which also helped you as well uh, against some teams going to the line like Albany State was. 
Yeah, well, you know, we put them on the free throw line, so there's not a lot of offensive rebounds for them to get. And, uh, you know, the rebounding margin was unique because we we shot, I believe, over 60%, almost 60-plus percent from the field uh, for that game. So the game seemingly was an offensive game. We didn't miss a lot. Um, and, um, when, you know, when we did miss, we got we were able to rebound it some, and uh, you know, we put them on the free throw line. So, uh, anytime that we out rebound people, that's a bonus because that's one of the, the deficient areas that we do have. No doubt, you see, you shot the ball really well, sixty-two point seven percent here. Three guys in the double figures, and something about that offensive output. Uh, I know we know that we know it ain't gonna be that good every night, but just maybe keep it in the forty, the mid forties, the fifties, and getting guys going offensively within the flow and be able to run your run your stuff where you want to run your stuff is very important as these games become more important these, this this last stretch here. Yeah, well, you know, offensively, we're a pretty efficient team when the ball moves and the ball is shared. And as I as I, as I call it, the ball has energy. When we truly play by committee. We have three or four guys that are averaging nine points between – actually, we got six or seven guys averaging between seven points and nine points. And so – um, you know, when the ball moves and it's shared and, and, and we're doing what we're supposed to do on offense, we could be a pretty potent team. We normally shoot about 43, 44% on the year. This game, we shot 62%. That says volumes about our execution on that day. Um, and, and even more particularly when we didn't get to the free throw line an enormous amount of times. No doubt. And also, Fort Valley, I know that was another tough game up the road uh, from Albany out, out to the good way Fort Valley, Georgia. I uh, know a guy you know, from the swag Montez and those guys, man. I uh, know that game really feels like a game you should have won and basically been up by six with fifty some seconds to go. And I know we talked about it this year a lot, man, trying to close out games. And I know that I, 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 I know that pissed you off a lot, knowing that you had a chance to close that game out up there at Fort Valley. Yeah, Fort Valley's Fort Valley um this game was uh, a, a, a real heartbreaker. It made it makes a coach try to figure out why you got in the coaching business, um, and it felt like that for some days. Um, we were actually up five points at the free throw line, missed a, missed a chance to go up six with thirty two seconds on the clock. Went down the floor, gave up an uncontested layup within four or five seconds, threw the ball in bounds. You know, got fouled. Go to the free throw line, make one of two. Come back down the floor, miss a box out. They throw the ball back out, hit a three, up one. Come down the floor, get fouled, miss two free throws, lose the game at the buzzer. So um, that was a devastating loss and and an important game for us. Uh, That game would have been a a game that would could have propelled us, you know, in the top three teams on our side of the league here. but it wasn't meant for us to 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 win. And uh, I tell you, Fort Valley shot the ball. They made 12 three-pointers against us. That's something that does not normally happen against our team. Um, they 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 could have beat the Boston Celtics that night. And uh, uh, although I feel like we should have won, Fort Valley did did, did a, you know, a phenomenal job uh, of staying 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 the course and and finishing the game. I know that's hard for you too, man. With especially when you shoot 51 percent from the field. 38 from three and come on the wrong end of the game. Cause I cause you just look at the stats of it, man. Look, yo, it's like, you know, I know what you mean, man. Cause I looked at it, I was like, it, it hurt me. You know what I'm yeah. saying? When I yeah, looked at it, it hurt me. Yeah, for us, you know, we shoot 50 plus percent. I mean, obviously that's a good road trip for offense. Um, but both of these teams shot over 40 percent. I think Fort Valley that night, if I'm not mistaken, shot almost 50% from the field. They did, yep. Yeah, we're, we're not going to win games like that. We gave up 80 points. We're not going to win games like that. That's that. That's that's. Too, we're not going to outscore people. We've got to stop people and then, you know, execute on offense. <clears throat> so the, that those numbers are good numbers on the offensive side. They look, they look attractive. But on the other side of the table, um, we're giving up too many points. We're you no know, this kid es- Esprich had 33 points. He scored all seven points in the last 32 seconds. Um, we didn't do the job on defense. And uh, uh obviously, man, you gotta make free throws at the end of the game. You gotta you gotta just secure the ball. And you still have to defend until the game is over. You know, like we're we're watching the clock, hoping that the clock goes down. And um 
just just something that's happened to us all year. And unfortunately it happened to us again last week. And uh, you know, we were able to bounce back. Yeah, you know what, Sean? It's, it's, it's kind of it's, it's like you said, man, it's like uh, we gotta get young men to realize do what works, you know. <laughs> if, right. if, if we got a plan that's working, stick so let's not deviate and let's let's not let the game play us. So let's 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 play the game, you know. Right. But I think that you know, as the these games come more important, hope your young men can see that hey, we have to, we have a winning formula here. Coach Walker's giving us the right things we prepare with, the right schemes. We're doing the right things. We just do the right things and so we can control, like making our foul shots, blocking out, you know, assignment discipline. We'll win games. Dangerous coming this tournament coming up here in San Savannah. Yeah, well. I tell you what, this last week let let us know that when we execute and when we play and do the things that we're supposed to do, we're super duper close to the top. And when we don't do those things, then we're very much so close to the bottom. Uh, so my team is a, is, is at a happy balance. I won't say we're in the middle. I'll say we're either playing well and we we can play at the top of the league, or we're playing horribly. We'll play at the bottom of the league. The only thing that's unique about my team is we'll be at the top of the league for 15 minutes and be at the bottom of the league for 30 seconds, and that 30 seconds will overwhelm the 15 minutes. And so that's a major that's a major problem. You never know when that's going to happen. Um, and so I like this group because we are resilient. We are we 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 have uh, adopted the idea of being coached and and, and being pushed and being uh, edified at the same time. And so because of that, we're able to kind of bounce back from some of the things that we are unable to do well and figure out how to how, how to how to bounce those things out to be able to come back and do them well. Speaking of bouncing back, Sean, you know, you went with Benedict uh, on, on the other week. You know, it was a bad game for you guys. It's like a game was got away from you. But coming to your place, man, a place where Allen has not beat Benedict in years, you know, it was a tell of two halves. So the first half was like, one defensively is something you would love. Second half kind of tough to have. So it's kind of talk about how that game went down for you guys. First half had his own story. Second half had his story. But you know, us when you all came through and got, and got the victory by ten points. Yeah, the Benedict game seems to be a big game around here um, for for obvious reasons. Uh, they're they're right across the street from us, and uh, they have been a perennial power. Um, um, Back in the days when they became Division II, Fred Watson took over the program. They won championships. Um, uh, Coach Maddox is over there now. I have great respect for him. Uh, he's trying. He's been there a few years now, and he's trying to get over the championship hump. But they're legitimately, uh, in my opinion, the most talented team top to bottom in this league. Um, great players inside and out. Um, they've got a couple unsung heroes over there that I think would be all conference players on other on other teams in the league, and um, just 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 a big game. So you know, I can't really call it a rivalry because I know that we that Allen had not beaten them in a long time. <laughs> um, the 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 history says the history that was done here said 1986 is the last time now. Since we promoted that, there's been people that have said, oh, we beat out, we beat Benedict, you know, whatever. And I'm saying, all right, if you did, tell us when it was so we can we can get it right. Nobody seemed to come up with the fact of when they did that. But we do know there has been it's been a good it's been a good time, a long time. And um so so now we have to be able to make it a rivalry by 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 winning some. All right. Forty years is a long time not to beat one school. Uh and, and so getting bringing that back full circle to 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 the game. Um, first time we played them, we weren't ready. All right. The emotions of the game overtook us. Um, uh, you know, you got to play, you got to prepare and uh, attack every game in the same way. Uh, Benedict got up on us 24 in the first half. I was not pleased about that at all. I don't think there's a team that should be, should be, get up on us 24 in one half. Uh, so that spoke to our competitive spirit. I challenged our players uh, with that. Uh, basically, you know, if you don't plan to compete, don't show up because we win, lose, or draw. You got to go out there and compete. All right. Um, first half, we, we we played pretty well, and I think we slowed Benedict down. The game was at our pace. They're ranked twenty in the country, man. They're going to come back. All right. They're going to come back, um, and, and and they actually did and, and took the lead. 
and they had to leave for about 20 seconds maybe and then we we came back took the lead again and, and held it so we we controlled the game for the most part um they're so explosive uh, very difficult to stop uh great players uh we were very very fortunate to 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 come out of that game with the win no doubt for you been year one uh when you know it's a ranked team like Billy right across the street for you man uh how, how was the alumni base for hitting you up, man? I know Jasher was happy as can be, probably, man. So look about that piece of it, man. How important it was for Allen University, not just basketball, to get that win and, and galvanize the fans the way y'all did on Saturday, man. It was an important win. I, I, I can't say that it was not <clears throat> um, what I've tried to impress upon the young men in the locker room. That game is important, but not more important than any other game. All right. Mm-hmm. We didn't win the national championship. We didn't win the SIAC championship. We did overcome a hurdle that we should be proud of. Um, the, the tag the, the, on, on Sunday was uh, Allen upsets Benedict. All right. And this has become big news. So now in my competitive spirit, we need to get to the point that it's not an upset. All yes. right. That it's, that it's not an upset. Like, Allen is a viable program. We are we are vital. We are a, a, a program that has a level of vitality and you, an opponent that can win every game that we play, opposed to no matter who it is. Um, I, I remember going in the grocery store when I first got here in, in the Columbia, and, and a young lady was uh, checking me out at the food line and talking about, oh, you you are Allen, uh, y'all suck. You know, you, you guys, I said, oh, you must go to Benedict. So that's good, clean, fun, moving around. And now, you know, we we won one game. As far as I'm concerned, we're one and one now in Division Two era. All right, in our Division Two era, uh, this is the first time we're one and one. We got to get to a point where people expect Allen to be able to to win and and, and beat Benedict um, consistently. And um, maybe we're not there yet, but uh, we we, we got to be on the way. You're definitely moving the cheese, though. Like, you've only been in Division One three years since 2021. So, now here you come in year one, you no know, 14 wins. We know we could be even more than that. We both know it could be more than 14. Right. You know, some, things go, right. some things go our way here, you right. know. So, so we, we, we we know that as well. So, we know the cheese is definitely moving. And right. he, like I said, so, uh, I mean, you're doing a hell of a job. I can tell you that. I, I want people to realize you're doing a hell of a job year one. Yeah. Just make a turnaround from where it was to now. So you're doing some work out there, my good brother. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, I say I take credit for everything that's bad. So when we lose to Fort Valley, it's my fault. When we lose to Tuskegee, it's my fault. When we lose to Lane, it's my fault. Uh, Benedict blew us out. Clark Atlanta blew us out. I'm taking all the credit for that. And when we get a big win like we did Saturday, man, I got some good players, man. These guys are really buying in and and, and doing all the things that, that I asked them to do. And so uh, all the successes in the program completely about the kids and young people, and that's the way it should be. Um, this is their time to to, to be able to celebrate uh, an accomplishment that they uh, had the opportunity to 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 create for themselves due to their hard work and and and, uh, and ability to be you know to be directed, and that's that's a bonus for them. And you know what, Sean, from being around your team against the Clark game until the improvement I've seen just from. That Clark and Nell, man, and I, you and I both know what we did in locker room. So it's like the fact that those young men took the coaching, took it to heart, and have actually went to work. And actually, besides the Benedict game that we just discussed at, at their place, you've been in every game. You know, you're doing playing the right way, trying to do things the right way, and trying to make the mistakes, do it, not making the same mistakes over and over again. So I feel like since that Clark game, a turning point for you guys where you meet your young men decided they're gonna want they want to be coached. They want to be better, want to make some of the seasons more than just, you know, it be what, what what it was. Yeah, well, we'll see when we play Clark again next Saturday. We'll be keep them <laughs> thumping, thumping us again. <laughs> but uh, you know, I am proud of this team, man. I mean, I, I, I we're we're not the most talented or gifted team every night. All right. But I do think if there was a statistic for play hard that we would be right at the top, maybe even more so than uh, some of the teams that record wise are better than us. And so, you know, we've never stopped playing. We don't, we don't display an attitude of being defeated. Um, These young guys now believe that they can win 
So so being a Benedict is important. But now we got miles and Benedict's over. All right. We're going to travel today. And then we got to come back and play Clark. All right. Oh, and then we got to come back and play Morehouse. All these teams had 20, 20 wins and 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 at the top of the league. So the Benedict win, I think Benedict is 20 and 5. All right. We're tied with Benedict on our side of the league for kind of like third place. We're trying to wedge ourselves. So we're playing at the very top of the league and in a lot of ways in the top of the country. We, we, we get a chance to see what, what we're made of here um, over this next week and then seeing, well, I don't even know what the tournament bracket would look like or whatever the case may be, but you know, our goal is to finish this regular season uh, plus 500. We need to win at least one more game to do that. Um, or 14 and 14, but we need to win one more game to assure that and um, we, we've done well. These young these young guys have done well. Um, you know, we've in my my estimation, man, we've given away at least four games, um, and I'm talking about giving them away. And so we very well could be at at tw- almost 20 wins ourselves. So uh, I'm happy for our young people. I mean, again, all, all the credit goes to them, and we're going to see if we prepare them to get ready to go play another. Uh, tough week of basketball at the top of the SIAC. Yeah, the tournament goes like it's like a the one and two seeds get a double buy. It's like the top three seed, then it's like four or five. Then like so that's how it goes. So it's right. gonna be a three seed to get gets a, a buy, but it's gonna be like you play West four West seven versus the get right. the, the, yeah, that's how it's gonna be. So if you in the top three, or well, these are the top two, two top two you get a double buy. Right. Three, you you don't get either six or you know something like that. So that's how it works. But yeah, man, like we'll see where that goes for us, man. It, it, you know what? For us, it don't even make a difference. Every game gonna be hard. Yes, <laughs> you know, we play, yeah. we play, we play uh, team number uh, fifty two. <laughs> it's gonna be a hard game. So <laughs> it doesn't even really. I mean, it matters. Uh, we certainly don't want to don't want to see anybody from my side of the league in the top three you know, or, or miles or I don't want to see anybody. I don't want to see I don't want to see any of the teams in the league. I mean, Central State we played Central State there in last place on the other side. We we beat them overtime, so so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> don't even matter. Like man, man, they get the Savannah. It's a zero zero just an opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. It's just that's it, man. It's just just done. all the games are gonna be hard, so it doesn't doesn't. Yeah. Yes, indeed. I, you know what? I, I'm looking forward to being down there, man. I, I, I hope it's like say I double A, but I die it is. <laughs> so, I'm not sure, you know, what the environment will be like. I just know that uh, none of the environments are good in tournament play if you don't win. So uh, yeah, we have to prepare ourselves. We're doing everything we can to get ready for that experience. Though, like, you know, we're 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 watching practice time and watching. You know what we're doing in practice. We we took two days off after we played. Came off the road with uh, Fort Valley. I practiced one day. Got ready for Benedict. Practice two days. Got ready for Benedict. One day was just time and score because we bombed it. And then we played uh, Benedict Saturday and uh, took Sunday off. And I'm gonna walk through today before we get on the road. And then we're gonna do something tomorrow morning. So right now it's about managing, you know, injuries because that's that's that is also another thing, man. Teams are gonna win the championships, gotta be healthy and fresh and, and and ready to go. So that management piece at this point is super important too. No doubt, our brother. So I hope we go we have a great week because we know you got three big games this week when we talk again next Tuesday, man. So let's uh hope us pray for that best man, claim it now, man. Have a great week and uh get ready for this uh last stretch here, my dear brother. Absolutely looking forward to it, man. No, no doubt, folks. That's Sean Walker, Sean Walker Show, episode 11. Check out LNLAULX.com and shit for these young men playing their asses off for, for this team. Man, so let's get it going. Fantastic. Appreciate it. No doubt. BS3 Network, changing the way you watch TV. Yes, BS3 Network, changing the way you watch TV, covering content and hot topics from A to Z, sports, music. Society and culture, movie reviews, you name it, we have it. Check it out on bs3network.com or check us out on Roku, BS3 TV on Roku, as well as check out your favorite podcast on all podcast platforms or spreaker.com backslash BS3 Network.
You are now tuned to BS3 Network. What's up, good people? Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. The latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wages, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use your promo code BLEAV, B-L-E-A-V, for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online when the game starts. What's up, family? Jared the Boss Man here. You're tuned into the Boss Man Show on AM 1010, AM 1430, 105.5 The King. Get the king out at 105theking.com and the Boss Man Show at bossmanshow.com. Hit me up on Instagram, the Boss Man Show, Twitter at Boss Man Show, and Facebook, Boss Man Show. It's the Boss Man on your Radio. Listen to the Boss Man Show with your host JR Saturdays at 9 a.m. right here on AM 1010, The King. 